At a community college, we are finding ways in which to provide for basic needs for our students so that they get the support that allows them to be successful outside of the classroom. For example, we have food pantries. Uh, we have access to uh, programs that allow students to build upon their financial credit, take care of their taxes. We also have additional support for students in uh, the area of transportation. So we provide basic needs programs that are connected to open markets and ways in which we can support students so they can build not only an academic career but a financial career that leads them towards a path of stability. Some of the resources that are available for students to ensure that we reach our academic goals are transportation services such as shuttle to get students to and from school. They also lend out electronics such as Chromebooks and then personal hotspots for students who don't have access to Wi-Fi. Also they provide counseling for students, personal counseling as well as academic counseling and then they also offer a community food pantry that you can pick up food once a week. For me, uh, working as a student, obviously everything is online, but for my job at Kenyatta, I've had to kind of transfer all the work that I've had in my office here to kind of just my laptop. So what's been helping me are their drive-in Wi-Fi's. So I would just come to campus like an hour or two, like during a weekday, and that's just helped me get work done and stay on top of everything. Something else that I really appreciated is me being in the Promise Scholars Program, they offer incentives every single month of $50 so we can get you know, the essentials that we need during the pandemic. College is designed to be a temporary transition for a student on a path to a full-blown career. And so what you want to do is reduce as many barriers as possible. Does a student need a scholarship? Does a student need a grant? If the student is an athlete and they really enjoy playing sports, we want to make sure the student can still do that and that doesn't become a barrier to them continuing their education. So if they're not going to work but they're going to be on the field and be on a team, what other types of support does a student need? We have set up programs with cities and counties on reduced housing, on stipends for students to get access, to get into housing. So what we try to do is to be a true partner, not only to the city and the county, but to the student to ensure that they are successful. So we try to eliminate as many barriers as possible. Uh, a barrier in the education space is not understanding how the institutions operate. One way of understanding that is being more direct with our counselors, so that way they can understand to reach out to the students and being more proactive with reaching out to students. Other ways is to have a stronger uh, uh, first year orientation and having these uh, first year classes that explain how the organizations are, are structured and where to and how to ask for that help. Another barrier that students face is lack of preparedness. But at the community college level, there are resources available to students to help them go on to four-year universities and into the professional workforce by helping students develop the soft skills that they need in order to succeed. So I'm a first-generation college student and I will be transferring to four-year institution after my two years at Kenyatta. Overall, Kenyatta, as soon as I got here, they really made me feel like I belonged with all of their programs. The professors were always so kind and helpful with all of my classwork. I feel very supported. Sometimes I don't always have that, like at home or in my groups of friends, so it's good to be like reminded by the people that want to see you graduate and transfer out. I think the reason why community colleges you will find are so successful is because not only are we cost effective, but we also know how to partner with our communities. And it's filling that gap and doing those trainings and providing those access to resources and fulfilling those skills that really make us um, invaluable to any community.